Hi guys, NeverFX here. Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot and Sand Trilogy. We're playing Crash 1 in particular right now. Last time we completed the game, we beat Cortex. We are now just completing all of the stages that we couldn't complete before because we didn't have the appropriate coloured gem. We ended the last episode by getting the last coloured gem, the purple gem. I think it was. I think that was the one we just got. And accident, accidentally? I mean, coincidentally. That's the gem we need now. Let's complete this stage, I remember this. For you guys, um, we played this stage maybe like a week or so ago. For me, it was called hours ago. I recorded this whole thing in the afternoon. That wasn't the initial plan, but I wanted to just record as much as I could, like. And it turns out, I can complete the game. I shouldn't have to worry about, well, I don't have to worry about dying and having to restart again. Oh my god. Didn't, didn't do that the first time we played through, did I? Okay. Jump. Jump again. Jump. Jump. Uh, jump. And another jump. And a jump again. You know, very nearly there from what I remember. The gem path we need to take is right at the very end of the level. As you may recall. These will all crumble, not that we have time to actually stay on the moon. Right? And there we go. It'll take us down here. Like I say, this area down here isn't loaded until you step on the gem and come down here, so you can't just jump down. Although we are right at the very end. You can see the level exit just up there. I have died here before. To these man eating plants. Because they're a bit. Uh, I need to kill you. Live, lives, lives, lives. Clear gem. There we go. Getting so close to that. I'm gonna say I did say I want to 100 complete this game. Well, I actually intend to. I think the most you can do is like 102 percent, something like that. Maybe actually no, maybe a bit, bit more because I didn't get any of the time relics in my other files. I'm not going to in this one because fuck that shit. So, road to nowhere is the next stage. That's the one. That's the bridge level. Oh, this will be fun, I'm sure. You can you can hear my dad. Then hold on, they're on the way out. And we're back. Oh, I was going to home. Naturally, I have to go take a ride too. Would be rude not to. Now I remember. It's in one of these halfway places, isn't it? Fuck you, Hawk. Whee! Yep. There we go. Thought I was going to miss it then, but I didn't. I didn't. Everything is fine. No, I'm not. I got hit. Luckily, I had a mask though, so everything is fine. Everything is fine. Where did I even get that mask from? Was it the beginning of this stage? I can't even remember. Anyway, let's use this special red gem path to come over to this part of the stage. I feel like there's a certain way you're supposed to do this. But I have no fucking idea. Probably this one. Come on. Three, two, one. The explosion. That must that triggered some at somewhere. Oh. I take it I wasn't supposed to do that. That don't seem like it's achieved quite the desired result. I won't lie to you. I don't think that's what I was supposed to do, guys. 
I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do to I suppose that I'll activate something in here. There is something in there. Oh, fuck do I know what I'm doing? I mean, really, what is. What does this accomplish? I can't reach the thing up there. Without, without spinning the thing. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Shit. Is that a, I didn't even know this was a fucking puzzle game. Am I really supposed to gain the height to jump and spin out driven the TNT? Oh, I fucking am. Okay. <laughs> oh, a load of lives appear over there. Oh, the mass. I mean, too little, too fucking late if you ask me, but I suppose I wasn't asked, was I? I hope I got it for you there, you know. No, nothing was hidden or some shit like that. Which will cost me the whole fucking thing and I'll have to do all over again. Jump, jump. Wee, wee, wee. Oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> Very poorly uh, made jumping. Executed jumping? I've just read. Yeah, Talk out of 6 is coming out next year. It's about fucking damn time. I mean, really? Was that necessary? I was going to say, please tell me I got a checkpoint after I did all, and I'm dead again. Fuck! Anyway, so I number six, apparently coming out next year. From what I saw, it looks to be some kind of reboot. Because Mitsurugi was shown in it. And he's far, he looks far too young. Because it'll be taking place after five. I hope it is a reboot, to be honest, because five, I think, was a mess myself. I do think it was incomplete. Well, I say incomplete. It was a complete enough game, but I think they wanted to really expand the story mode more than what they did. But it ended up just being a, 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 a very short, it's very short from what I remember. You only played as uh, two or three different characters, I think. And a lot of characters didn't even appear in it. Pretty shit, I don't know. I mean, I know Soul Calibur is a fighting game. But Soul Calibur has always had, from what I've experienced, a very rich story. Story modes, I think, they need to be priority in um, games like that. Because they have... Great storytelling ability. I thought I was going to die then. Like the City of Final Fantasy NT, which I cannot wait for. I'm just, I'm just unhappy that it's after Christmas. Here we go. Oh no, I'm going to have to fucking. I need leap, leaps of faith here. Oh, I thought I was going to die then. Did you see that? But I didn't, so. Yeah. Knock that out of the space in between his ears. Da 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 da. The mask. Echo echo peering up on the side. Yo, what's up, bitches? Sir, bitches. Okay, let's continue our journey back to the first island. Okay, this is actually this is quite interesting. I've just noticed this. The last island has pretty much all of the colour gems and the first island has pretty much all of the levels that need colour gems to be completed. Why ain't that a fucking thing? That's interesting, isn't it? You know what? This is this third level for this episode. We're going back to the earlier stages, which should therefore be, dare I say, easier, a little quicker. Although I... Whoa, I thought I had to write that time attack there. That would have been bad. Jump. I know I lost my tempo a little while ago. At that light out level. That might have been last episode, that episode actually. I'm calling them so close together, I don't know where they are now. But I know I lost my tempo a bit. But all in all, this has been a pretty stress free run through the game. As I say, I've recorded all this in an afternoon. That's how short the game is. It makes for a great game as like a, a reboot project for the channel. 
it doesn't take long to do. I always feel a great sense of achievement when I've completed um, a series on the channel. This is this is a way to get that sense of accomplishment relatively quickly, and it's very motivating when moving towards um, future series. My favourite games are RPGs, but they're long as fuck. <laughs> Saying that, I know what game I want to do. Go and die today. But it is one that will take a uh, fucking long ass time. I'm a fantasy team. That's what I want to do. And all these other great games on the PS4 now, and therefore readily available for me to record. I'm talking Final Fantasy 7. More importantly, Final Fantasy 9. And fuck me, do I love Final Fantasy 9. I really love Final Fantasy 9. I mean, fuck, really. I fucked the time up on that again. I'm sure I did that last time he was here. <laughs> Doing, let's go. So, yeah, all these great series and stuff like that that could come to the channel. But it will. It can be quite time consuming, so I'll need to, uh. Make sure I'm, you know, prepared. It's different playing the game in your own time than recording it, because in order to record this, I have got five minutes setting up, getting the computer ready, putting all the wires where they should be, etc., etc. It's not difficult necessarily, but it is, um, it's a little time consuming. Seeing here, I was to constantly look back at the preview screen to make sure that recording hasn't fucked or something, which is not impossible. It did happen actually during one of the um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse um, episodes. This was a very long time ago now. That was one of the first series I did actually. Was in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I wanted his universe too. But the my first universe playthrough didn't have commentary. I mean, I'm tempted to do it again. I mean, add that and the fact that all that stuff is on the different PS4. There's probably, there, there are, no doubt, there's a way to get the data over to this one. The only one I don't play. Here's a question. Do you need to have PlayStation Plus on all the different users? No, you do, of course you do, yeah. Stupid question. I know you can activate, if you activate a PS4 as a primary PS4, some PlayStation Plus features are shared amongst all the users on it, but I don't think that would be the same as uh, online storage. Whatever. There's no harm in me doing them. I do redo them. I wonder. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what I'll do differently. It's been a very long time since I played the first Xenoverse game. Very long time since I played the second one. I didn't redo all the DLC packs. I liked Xenoverse 2. I'd say I liked it more than I liked um, 1, but the DLC packs, some of them weren't. I think it was. Did the, did the DLC packs have story elements? I know one of them did, there's all Future Trunks arc from Dragon Ball Super. And there was the, the Universe 6 tournament arc was told. I don't know, I just didn't really find it very... It's a shame really, because I really like that game. But as I say, I just found like I wasn't really bothered. The DLC packs just didn't interest me. It's very strange, isn't that what I thought? I mean, fuck me now. I mean, this isn't too bad. Well, we've got to come all the way back up. It's wrong, really. I'm pretty sure I did this during the very first time we played through the level as well, didn't I? I missed it. Boing. 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 And there we go. Oh. Gem connected. Yeah. Da 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 da. So, this suggests to me that there's only four left to do. If there's only four left to do, 
let's end the episode now. I know you've only done three. I think you've only done three. But if you've got four left to do, that makes a perfect next episode. So let's do that then. Okay then guys, thanks for watching as ever. Well basically just cleaning up now, collecting a few last pieces. Um, pieces and bits and whatnot to finish off. And by the main story, there's that DLC level to do as well. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.